thank the executive secretary for calling this emergency meeting of the IGAD uh, heads of state. When I last visited Khartoum, and in all the other meetings before, Naivasha and so on, I always told the Sudanese about the dangers of ideological and strategic mistakes. The, we used to discuss with the General Bashir the dangers of encouraging the ideology and the politics of identity of tribes, identity of tribes, identity of race, Arabs, Africans, identity of religion, Muslim, Christian. And we use, I used to tell General Bashir that uh, this is very dangerous for that country. And indeed, eventually the country broke up into north and south. Now within the north, you, see, you still see some of these problems. So therefore, it is not correct to go on preparing over uh, mistakes year after year, decade after decade. And the ordinary people suffer so much on account of the ideological, strategic, and political mistakes of leaders. We must have principled politics, principled politics. Even when you are to fight, you fight for a principled cause. Don't fight for just opportunistic causes. Ugandan human rights activists are calling for sanctions against the authorities in their East African country after the enactment of an anti-homosexuality law which they say rigorizes homophobia and transphobia. President Yo William Seveni approved the law considered to be one of the most repressive in the world despite warnings from international partners. Called the Anti-Homosexuality Act 2023, the law provides for heavy penalties for people who have homosexual relations and promote homosexuality. An offense of aggravated homosexuality is punishable by death, a penalty that has not been applied for years in Uganda. This is a key moment for interested parties such as the United States and the EU to move forward with sanctions against Ugandans involved in human rights violations, called a coalition of human rights organizations in a statement published on Monday evening. This dangerous and discriminatory law criminalizes any defense of the rights of LGBTQ plus Ugandans, punishing uh, this uh, legitimate work with up to 20 years imprisonment. The organizations write this will destroy the fight against HIV, they added. Criminalizing and suppressing the legitimate defense of human rights is unacceptable in a true democracy, said Claire Bialugara of Chapter 4 Uganda, one of organizations in the coalition in the, st in the statement. The American authorities are considering additional measures such as sanctions and restrictions on entry to their territory for anyone associated with human rights violations or corruption, he added. The head of European Demo uh, diplomacy, Joseph Borrell, denounced a law that was contrary to human rights. The Ugandan government has an obligation to protect all its citizens and ensure that their fundamental rights and respect are respected. If it fails to do so, relations with international partners will be compromised, he added. 
Although there have been no recent prosecutions for homosexual acts, harassment and intimidation at the daily lots of homosexuals in Uganda, where an evangelical Christianity hostile to the LGBT plus movement has developed. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.